Welcome to the Passion Behind the Art Show. It's all about diving in with individuals to learn the story behind their passion. It's your host, Daryl Pinna. All right, so it's that time of the week again. Time for a new episode, the Passion Behind the Art Show. I'm just so grateful for everyone who has been taking the time out to listen to each episode each week. Um, I mean, I really want to tell you that I appreciate it. It means a ton to me. I can't believe it. I've done 70 of these, 70 official episodes and three bonus episodes. So in total, 73 episodes starting out. I just didn't know where this was going. I I just knew that this was something that I wanted to do. And it's been extremely rewarding um, especially with the relationships that I've been able to build. So just want to say thank you. Um, keep sharing it. Keep just giving me feedback. I uh, really appreciate it. Um, so as I get ready to build and just try to double down, I just want to let you guys know that I need your support again to stop by the shop. DP Creates. Dot com. That's D as in dog, P as in Peter, creates.com. That's literally what funds the podcast. Um, I don't really have a Patreon account, don't really have any sponsors. Like literally anytime I have something for sale, whatever you buy, the funds like literally goes to the podcast, nowhere else. So just stop by at the shop if you see what you like pick something up all right so i got a couple new colorways of some shirts that i did before so just stop by dpcreates.com all right enough of that let's jump into this week's episode so i want to tell you a story a story that really kind of hit me recently so i'm a runner and just saying that i can't believe i'm saying that because growing up i I thought running was one of the most pointless things sporting activities of all time did not like running I, I don't understand why people like running all right so that's that was my mindset growing up wasn't a big fan of running so I'm like okay I'm a runner so I usually get up somewhere between six I mean five and seven all depends on how I feel and it kind of dwindled down in the past few months just being busy with life and just um honestly sometimes just not pushing myself to get up so i really recently started to push myself a little more to get up and run so one morning i'm getting up and usually i I grab my gear get my stuff on get my headphones in get my music going or get my podcast or uh, a, a great sermon whatever the case may be i usually get that going in the morning in my ear while i'm running and this morning i didn't grab my headphones i just grabbed my phone that it could track my steps and i'm getting ready to go run so the stretch that i usually run it's a long stretch so if i do one way going all the way down and come back up to my house like that's a decent amount of workout because it's just a long straight stretch going down and it's like super uh, super bushy a lot of trees i mean you have houses but there's just trees and bushes everywhere so it's houses trees and bushes some areas are getting developed but it's still pretty much abandoned and just like not not abandoned but deserted not not developed to the point where anyone is living there yet and it's not busy and as I tell you at this time it's five something in the morning so I'm running and I really for the first time started to hear the sounds of the night because usually I have my headphones in and I don't usually hear this these these different sounds so I'm hearing the sounds of the night for the first time and I'm just listening and I'm running and it's start I'm starting to realize how dark it is I'm starting to realize how 
lonely it is. And I'm starting to realize all these sounds. And I'm listening to these sounds and like right now, I'm legitimately getting a little bit scared. I, I, I'm not sure if scared is the word yet, but I'm getting a little bit conscious of the sounds around me. I'm starting to get a little bit conscious that it's dark and started to think, why in the world am I running in this like deserted area this early in the morning? Nobody around, you know, and and and, and just fear is starting to creep up. And I'm like, is this really a good idea? And, you know, all these different things are rolling through my mind. Recently, I just lost a close friend of mine. So it's just like, just all these things are just like rolling through my mind. And you know what? I cut, I cut this course halfway. I was like, you know what? Halfway in, I'm not too sure I'm going to be doing this. So I turned back. Now, I still got my workout in. I just ran in a more lit area, more populated area at that time of morning that, you know, that I had some kind of peace of mind now. You know, on my way walking back, I started to think. And I was like, this is how much. The noise can just one cause us to look at our circumstances, and the and and the noise could be a lot of times the people on the outside. You know, if it's statistics, if it's if it's what you don't have, if it's just someone telling you nah that's not a good idea you know and then it just starts to plague you in your own mind and now your own mind starts so I just started to think like I started to realize how dark it is which is like a representative of my circumstances it started started to realize how dark it is then the noise this is that that friend you tell the idea of this thing you want to build, you want to start. And they're like, mm, bro, that's not, that don't make no sense. No, that's not a good idea. Or, dude, like, that is so hard. I don't, I don't know how you're going to do it. Or that person you tell, okay, you like, in your mind, you're ready to go and you start telling them what you're going to do. And they start asking these questions, like, you know, the questions of doubt, questions of how you're going to do that. Do you have this? Do you have that? How are you going to figure that part out? And it just, I just started to think how the noise and how the people around you can really affect your initial plans to do something great. Because by nature, we are made up to talk ourselves out of tense situations anything that will cause us to stretch anything that we fear anything that we feel like we don't have the necessary ability you know and like for me especially like I'm a man of faith and you know I I feel like I feel like God's got my back you know and Especially, you know, and you feel like, and I know that God got my back. So, but there are times when you start thinking and you start thinking too much and you start listening to people too much and you start worrying about what that person thinks or how when you told them that you want, this idea sounds so great, it sounds very doable, and you told them what you want to do and they just gave you this look and you feel like, like, what am I even thinking? What am I doing? And we just naturally want to talk ourselves out of things. Naturally want to just listen to the noise. And 
I just want to tell you that you have to in your own way figure out how you're gonna block out the noise and one of the ways that I started to not necessarily block out the noise but change the sounds around me and that's by you know changing the people around me and they were you know it took me a year and a half to kind of build like a a, a legit circle of people where now I can just go pull from here or there um, to kind of combat the 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 people that you know I love dearly and they're in my life but they just don't see too far beyond their circumstances. So I started to change the people around me, started to filter my social media timeline. And I just want to say there's a lot of people like give social media like a flag. Like you literally can filter your whatever it is, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You literally can filter it to what you want to see. So like the whole idea of it just like it's this terrible thing and like you have full control over these platforms and you literally can filter to what you want to see so I've I've like used all these tools all these features they have on these platforms to kind of filter like to exactly what I want to see and what it's gonna do for me pick me up a a there are people you see what they're doing they're doing things and it's like oh man you know, you feel like, okay, these things are possible. But it's just funny how it just took that. I'm running this trail every, all the time. And the one time I don't have my music to drown the noise out. To keep me focused on the path that I'm trying to go. The one time I don't have it, I was started to get distracted and fear started to creep up so I just want to encourage you that desire to change your surroundings and sometimes you kind of have to delay on telling certain people things and especially if these are people that you feel like you they have a great influence on you and they are because you know the people for the most part you know the people that once you tell them something it's like it's going to be super negative it's going to be doubtful it's like and this is a lot because we cannot see beyond our circumstances we cannot see beyond our present state or our present ability we cannot see beyond that and a lot of times people see their situation in your situation and then transfer that fear or whatever the insecurity or whatever on you on your thing that you're trying to do and which turns into them doubting what you're doing so that's what I really want to bring forth in this episode start finding ways to block out the noise because there's something great for all of us to do. And I know everyone is not a business owner and I don't, I'm not, I would not tell everyone to own a business. But the opportunity that the internet, social media, these tools, these devices, all the opportunity that it has created why not find out for sure so even if someone i may believe oh shouldn't have a business or they're not ready for a business or or you may feel like that or somebody that's just legit not a business person i would tell them still go for it cross that off make it sh make sure make it clear you have a you have an opportunity you have an at bat you have a you your chance 
it, it's very possible to get at the plate for your opportunity for your time it's your time to get up to bat like go for it and if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out but you know i'm guarantee you will learn a lot from it and two you know for sure okay i may be not be an i may not be a number one but i may be a number two or maybe a number three or maybe a number 70 but everybody has the opportunity in this day and age to to start a business to try to build something and I would never discourage anyone from doing that. I would say go for it. If it doesn't work out, hey, it is what it is. But I guarantee you, you will learn. And why Why should you not take the opportunity? Why should you pass it up? You know? So, so one, one way to block out the noise. Change your surroundings. Change the people that you're around change the things you take in if you really want to do something big something great or you just want to really focus on just changing your life your finances just change your surroundings you cannot build whatever this thing is that you're trying to build without being around people that's trying to build or have built something too. So remember, just block out the noise. And sometimes you may not be able to get rid of the noise, but counteract that noise with people that that will build you up, will make you feel like, you know what? It's it's possible. Cuz no one knows for sure. But you got to go for it. That's the beauty of it. You know, that is the beauty of it. No one knows for sure. So go for it. Because most of the times, the unknown, we we put so much weight on the unknown being negative. And not that unknown is positive. And unknown is just that. It's unknown. Like it's it could be equally negative and it can equally be positive, but we put so much weight on the unknown being something negative, it not working out. So focus on like just changing the noise. And that's one way with the people around you. Next is instead of me turning back I should have faced it I should have went ahead and ran faced it because you want to build that courageous muscle and the only way to do that is by if you're afraid of something just kind of step out and face it like there are tons of things I'm scared to start this podcast. I was scared to do different things. And there's a couple things that I'm planning to do. I'm scared to do it. But I'm going to do it. This doesn't mean that, okay, I don't have no fear. But I just don't want the fear to cripple me. And I want that for you too. Don't let your fears cripple you. Because you will miss out on so much. And I'm not saying being naive or something being dangerous. But don't let your fears cripple you. It will rob you of your destiny most of the times. Like a large percentage of the time, fear robs you of your destiny. So, surround yourself with people that have the right noise. The noise that will build you up. Make you feel like these things are possible. And... Exercise that courageous muscle. Because the more you exercise it, the stronger it will become. And the more courageous you will be. So, thanks again for listening to this week's episode. I hope it did something for you. It brought you some some insight. I hope it motivated you. I hope it caused you to stop and think what you're trying to do, where you're trying to go, and remove
removing the noise, blocking out the noise. All right. So remember, stop by the shop, dpcreates.com. That's D as in dog, P as in Peter. Creates one word. Dot com. And I would love your support if you pick something up uh, at the shop, one of the shirts, whatever. We have shirts, a whole bunch of different things. So stop by if you see what you like. I would really appreciate it. Thanks again for listening to this week's episode. Be blessed.